So welcome to part six of seven questions today's home buyers and sellers are asking. I'm here to help answer some of your questions. I'm going to provide you with seven answers to some questions my clients ask me about the real estate market every single day. So I'm going to go over part six today. So let's begin. Question number six is, how does inflation and the current housing market affect a client's ability to buy and sell? So if you're selling and then buying your next home, you'll almost certainly pay a higher interest rate if you're financing the purchase with a mortgage. In some instances, the rate could be as high as 3% higher. Here's my advice to home sellers out there. For nearly two years since COVID, home sellers have called all the shots. Now they're facing challenges. Price growth has slowed as many sellers are beginning to realize what buyers will actually be able to pay. Price your home so that it reflects the realities of the market because buyers have more budget pressure due to rising interest rate and their affordability. If nearby sellers are cutting their prices, then you as a home seller want to make sure to price your home competitively to attract the best offers. Prep your home more thoroughly and bring your A-game to digital marketing. And that's where my specialty comes in. Stage your home. Do photo professional photography and video. Make sure that the winning bid is a qualified buyer. Cross-qualify this buyer with your lender so you don't have the risk of falling out of escrow. As home sellers, you may not be seeing as many bidding wars anymore. But ultimately, all you need is one good buyer to sell your home to. Now, here's my home, advi uh, home uh, my advice to home buyers out there. Buyer budgets have taken a hit, but they no longer necessarily have to waive any contingencies. So say goodbye to waiving all the contingencies now. Buyers can require an inspection and financing contingencies without uh, as much fear that they'll lose out to a competing bid. Buyers are in an ideal position to place offers on homes knowing there are not a lot of competition as we have seen in the past two years and have a higher chance of having their offers accepted. Similarly, buyers who can afford this market would generally have more time to consider. So I encourage you to be picky to find a home that you're going to love. I hope you found this helpful. Um, this is part of the six, part six of the seven of the series. And tomorrow we're going to have part seven. If you have any questions or you would like to get a copy of this video, please go ahead and message me be below and I'll be happy to share it with you. Thank you for watching. My name is Carolyn Aliverdian from Real Estate by Carolyn over at EXP Realty. Thank you.